Around 8 out of 10 workers in Malaysia's palm oil estates are foreign, mostly from Indonesia. Even pre-pandemic, the industry was short some 36,000 workers, costing it billions of dollars in lost production. Thousands more migrants have since gone home. Malaysians have long shunned plantation work, viewing it as too physically demanding and, as many see it, demeaning. The industry has been working hard to change that perception and recruit more locals. When the pandemic hit, I lost my job in the airline industry. My suggestion is that Malaysians keep an open mind. They cannot be so choosy about what work they do, especially now. Plantation work is good work. Palm oil giant Saim Darby has also been working with the prisons department to recruit parolees. They are paid as per any of our other workers. They'll be able to learn new skills, employable skills, and at the end of their sentence, they can then join a productive workforce. Today, we only see about 60 that voluntarily uh, coming into the placement program. And uh, coupled with the locals that we hired, which was only about 300, this is not going to close at all the labour shortage. The industry is striving to make the work less arduous for locals. We are looking how to simplify the job. Now very seriously looking at mechanisation, automation. Actually, we have gone a long way on terms of mechanisation, in terms of crop evacuation, herbicide spraying, fertiliser application. But the core, most critical operation, which is bringing down the fruit from the tree, that is still manually reliant. And still almost entirely done by foreigners. Hence the industry's urgent plea for the government to relax its freeze on bringing in new migrant workers. Ryan Meltzer, CGTN, Kerry Island, Malaysia.